and honorable council members. Uh, my name is Jen Mather and I am testifying on resolution 23-203 as an individual. I didn't have the intention to come here and testify, so ignore my hat. I'm so sorry. Um, before I do that, I would like to thank council member Rollins Fernandez uh, for her opening remarks um, and making me cry ugly cry in the back of her, um, that highlighted what was and what will be again in Malu'ulu Olele. Um, I know this council actually recognizes how important the forestry of our island is because I think I was here for the last um, ceremonial resolution for Bob Hopti and then your re ceremonial resolution today for uh, Mr. Resents. Um, anyways, regarding... Um, 23203, uh, I support the resolution. Uh, I'm going to join the talking circle on this particular challenge because in 2018, we, right, the, um, the community of Lahaina, we engaged in the disaster response, um, much like the entire island of Maui did this time. And then, as now, we asked why we weren't prepared, right, why the county agency's response was so lacking, um, and how we could do better the next time. Um, so, Fast forward, and this is actually not the next time. This is the next, next, next time since something like this has occurred. And all of those questions are still pertinent, probably exponentially so, right? Um, and usually I don't call people out. Um, and even though I know former director of MEMA, Herman Andaya, is a kind, gentle man, the precedent was that we knew he wasn't equipped to do this job, right? We all knew that. Okay, maybe most of us who were part of disaster response knew that. Um, so it's a hugely important department. I mean, they're not always activated, but it's hugely important hazard mitigation and all hazard mitigation, right? And being able to respond to disaster um, on, a, a, on any level. Um, so it's really important for us to know what occurred um, and what's actually still happening, because obviously the testifier before us was talking about water um, and how we can do better the next time. And although multi-hazard mitigation is the best path forward for us right now we have too many vulnerable communities still out here in the county that we like need to investigate what went wrong right now so that we could re like implement change right now right there's no time to wait for an after action report two to three years from now we need to investigate as we're going through it so we can like pivot to make better decisions for our people right now um so I do, I urge you to create this committee, committee immediately and engage in the process transparently, um, inviting all agencies and stakeholders, because this needs to be shared with the entire community to gain their insight as well, right? Our, like, yeah, our most powerful thing is our people and what they've been going through. Yay, Three minutes. I'm done. Thank you. Members, questions? If not, thank you very much.